Hi guys, so this article comes from Metal Sucks and I'm going to read part of it. I'm going to leave the link in to the article in the description down below. But the article I'm going to be showing you is Do you size Glenn Benton sells out and tells fans to stop moshing so violently? Now, D side frontman Glenn Benton has supposedly come out in himself as a hippie when he gave the following quote to the Rich Republican part of the California Weekly. It says, We've seen some some crazy shit over the years death metal pits can be crazy we've seen fights and people overdoing it with aggression and we've had to barricade in the dressing rooms till things mellowed out years ago i don't know i've never felt scared but i did feel a bit disappointed a few times it is about fun not violence and we recently just saw a kid split his head open after getting knocked out and we don't like it anytime anyone gets hurt at our shows it's not a good thing. At the end of the day, I'd rather see a kid go home smiling about the show rather than with stitches. Inside is close to Metal, Metal Sucks told that, that they are worried that this could ruin the career of Benton, whose Metal Cred was already in question after he failed to make good on his promise to end his own life at the age of 33, aka the age at which supposedly Jesus was crucified. And FYI, I don't recommend suicide. If you're having a tough time in life, go and get some professional help. Here's my thoughts on the matter. Glenn Benton and a hip Glenn Benson, a hippie. He's probably the furthest thing from a hippie out there. And overly violent mosh pits aren't just an issue for death metal shows, it's an issue for shows across the heavy metal board. Even though I don't mosh anymore, Pushing, shoving, jumping around in the pit and even helping a fellow mosher up, up when they fall down. I'm all for that. But, but what I don't like is when moshers don't help each other up. Turn the pit into a fight club and that's where it becomes effed up. I also don't think that Glenn's comments regarding moshing are going to ruin his career or metal cred, whatever that is. Now, regarding the side, I love their first two albums. I also love Stench of Redemption and their recent album, Overtures of Blasphemy. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.